everybody. This is Miranda Evans, your favorite unfiltered motivator. And you are here for episode seven of Motivation with me. Now, I know you guys are like, okay, it's been like a week since you posted a video and you said it was supposed to be out like a long time ago. So yeah, had some health personal issues going on. So I'm a little late, but that's okay because I'm still here and I have some really good content for today. So we're still in our theme for love, sex, and relationships for June. Oh, and my shirt is by So Rustic. Jennifer Lambden did my shirt, my embroidery. I have a white one as well. So I will put her link in the bio so you guys can get your embroidered shirts because all business owners should have them. And she's phenomenal. So I'll put her information below. Thank you, Jennifer. But yeah, so today we're going to get into something really interesting. And this one is kind of for my fellas. This one is kind of for my, this, it's a, yeah, this one is for my fellas. So what I did was, and surprisingly, I actually don't have a book today, which is like weird for me, but I have something better. So I did a poll slash research on social media and also i text like some guy friends of mine that i know even my ex like you know i reached out basically i reached out to a few men um to get their opinion and this is the question that i posed my question was why do you think men don't express their feelings okay so today we're going to be talking about expressing emotions and communication, okay? Whether it be in dating, whether it be in a friendship, a situationship, a relationship, a marriage, just expressing your emotions, period, and communicating and the positive and necessity of communication, okay? So I'm going to be reading off notes here because I did record some of the responses that I had. So I'm going to read you the responses and then I'm going to give my opinion on these responses, okay? So, and these are anonymous, but the first one that I got was actually from a teenager, said they might not want to look weak or be led on. Okay, I get that. I'll answer that in a second. I got another one that says, because they don't trust them yet. So, they don't trust the woman or they don't feel like they can open up to the woman so they won't express their emotions because they don't feel like they have that trust yet to be able to be vulnerable with that woman get that too another one the level of vulnerability isn't received well like i just said they you know men already have a heart <clears throat> excuse me Men already have a hard time being vulnerable and expressing their emotions generally because they're males and, you know, males are raised to not show emotion or to not express their feelings. They are made or taught to be masculine and, you know, maybe they've had bad experiences. Like there's so much that goes into it from the way that they were taught because I always say we came into this world not knowing anything. So everything that we know was taught to us by someone else, whether it be parents, teachers, the people that were in our lives, everything that we know we had to learn or we were taught that. Like we had to learn how to walk. We had to learn how to talk. We had to learn how to feed ourselves. We had to learn how to communicate. We have to learn how to do everything, read, write. Everything has to be taught to us. So a lot of what stems as an adult or even as you grow older comes from what you were taught or what you were exposed to in your early impressionable years. So, did my earring just, yeah, my whole earring just came out. Listen, sis, hold on. <laughs> and I know y'all like, why she got these glasses on like this? And I really want to wear them, but it's a glare in them and they match my, my shirt. So I really want to wear them, but... <laughs> And so, yeah, my edges is rough because design, design essentials edge control doesn't work. Let me just throw that out there real quick because my edges was like, <laughs> bitch, please. So now that we got that out the way. Make sure my earrings don't come out again. But I got that a lot. That was a very common response. 
Another response was, actions speak louder than words. Hmm. Okay. And um, also with that was a rebuttal from the same person that says, you know, some some women want that security. You know, they want to hear that verbal expression of feelings for security and so that they know that, okay, this is how this man feels about me. And so some other answers I got after posing the question in the social complex group was um, men aren't given the space and opportunity, which I thought was kind of weird because I didn't really see how that went with the question. Maybe I worded the question wrong or something. I don't know. I felt like that, that was more broad, like as far as men expressing their emotions, period, and not men expressing their emotions to women. So that could have been my error. Men are raised to be protectors and not weak, like I just stated. Women don't listen or want it a certain way. Okay. Men shouldn't express to a woman just a mentor. What? First of all, that was stupid. <laughs> like what <laughs> yeah we gonna get into that and another one that I thought was that kind of caught me by surprise was they break up and get blasted on Instagram or social media um, and pride and ego now that one kind of shocked me and I got that one more than once and it's like it shocked me but it didn't because I know women can be irrational or they can express I feel like everybody expresses their emotions on social media and they use it as an outlet but me personally speaking from my personal views and experiences because everything that I say is coming from my personal opinion you might have a different opinion that's on you you have your opinion I have my opinion me personally if a guy expresses his emotions to me I don't feel the need to put that on social media like why am I going to blast a guy, even if we are to break up, you know, why am I going to blast you on social media in front of everybody about what you said to me or how you felt about me or how the relationship ended or what, whatever, like your relationship does not belong on social media, you know, and I know y'all like, but didn't you write a book about all your relationships? Yes, I did. After the fact after telling everyone who was in it that they were going to be in it and I changed the name so I was never blatantly trying to disrespect anyone in my book um except for my rapist and my stepfather who was the man that molested me and the lady who killed my father those were the only three people that I didn't care about calling out which I didn't even call out my stepdad so I was still on the fence about that but I didn't have a problem uh, covering up the abuse that was that was happening to me and the point of my book was so that you could see my life story it wasn't me trying to call out men that I've had relations with or anything like that it was so you could see my lifestyle as a teenager which will make more sense when my next book comes out and you guys know me now I have a youth nonprofit. all of that stemmed from that book and from what I went through so the whole um they break uh, the break up and get blasted on social media thing. I feel like that's a per diem situation. Like that's a per person situation. If you been with a woman and they do that to you, first of all, that's fucked up. Okay. That's fucked up, ladies. It's fucked up for men and women. You don't do that. Be mature about your situation and about your, you know what? I'm going to just go all the way in. Be mature about your shit. Don't put people on last on social media okay unless you feel like it's beneficial for the purposes of justice okay and that's gonna make more sense a little while from now I can't talk about it and go into detail now but it's going to make more sense later and what I mean by that is kind of like let's look at the Me Too movement Let's look at all these women that are now sharing their stories and sharing their testimonies. That's different. If you're an abuse victim and you were abused, okay, and you want to use social media or your platform as your outlet and your way to share your testimony, that's different. That's a different situation because something happened to you and you're trying to share your story for the betterment of somebody else. 
that's a different situation. But to just blatantly blast a guy or a woman on social media or in on in public period is just disrespectful. Like why? What? Why? I'm just that baffles me. I didn't even know we were doing that. But I, you know what? Nothing surprises me this, these days. So that's fucked up. And what's even more fucked up about it is when this stuff like this happens to men, it messes it up for women that come after that. Because sometimes, and this goes for men and women, we have a bad habit of taking out on a new person or somebody else what somebody did to us in the past. And that that we can't do that. See, my whole thing is everybody is innocent until proven guilty. So as as fucked up as men have treated me, as fucked up relationships as I've been in, I'm going to go into dating or go into a new man or go into a new relationship with a clean slate because I it's not fair to you for me to make you suffer from what somebody else did. Okay, so I, I that that whole excuse I ain't feeling it. No. I mean, it's fucked up, but that doesn't mean you have to treat every woman after that the same because somebody else fucked you over in the past. Like, bro, excuse me, but get over it. Like, seriously, get over it, okay? It, it, and if it happened a long time ago, you really need to get over it. I understand it might take time, but clearly that woman was crazy. Clearly that woman was on her own thing, but... Just because, and I'm making up a random name right now, just because Keisha did it don't mean Miranda going to do it, okay? that That's just not fair. And the whole pride and ego thing, of course, men have a lot of pride and ego. They don't like to appear weak. So they have a hard time expressing their emotions because they feel like, that's them being weak. Oh, you soft or you weak and you a simp, you know, that all this other stuff. No, like, and men were taught you ain't supposed to cry and the men aren't supposed to cry. They're supposed to be strong. That's a load of bullshit if I ain't never heard it, okay? Men, it is nothing wrong with you crying, okay? You're a human. You have emotions. You're going to get your feelings hurt, okay? What's dangerous is, it's holding that in and not crying and not getting it out. Whatever way you have to get it out. Because when you hold it in, that's unhealthy for you. Okay? So you have to express that emotion. Because I don't care if you're a man or a woman. At the end of the day, you are still a human. And humans have feelings. And humans have emotions. And humans deal with grief. And humans cry. Man, I think it's healthy to cry. I cry all the time. Get that ugly cry out. Just, just release it. Release it. So that whole, like, men aren't supposed to cry, that's a load of bullshit to me. And whoever taught you that, tell them I said it's a load of bullshit. Because that's just what it is. Sorry, I had to get a little aggressive on y'all real quick with that. And then, okay, let's go to, um, because they don't trust them yet. That's understandable. I can understand that. Because it does take a little while to open up to somebody, whether you're a man or a woman. We don't just open up just off the rip, okay? We have to feel like we have to get to that level of security and that level of trust to where we feel like, okay, I can open up to this person and it'd be okay. Like, I can be vulnerable with this person because I trust this person with my vulnerability, now, me, see, I'm a different breed. I think I'm just a whole another different type of woman. I'm automatically open because I have to be open because of my lifestyle and what I do. So, I mean, first of all, I have a whole book with my life in it. So, I'm open. Now, sometimes I can be a little too aggressive, but if you, you can ask me any question in the world and I'll answer it. Like, I have no problem being vulnerable. I have no problem answering questions. Now, when it comes to my emotions, that's a kind of tricky subject because... I don't really have them a lot when it comes to certain things. So it's like, eh, I'll express them if I'm not feeling you, you know, or I'm always tell you how I feel and whether it come out bad or whether you don't agree with it. I'm sorry. That's, I'm just an open person. I, this is just who I am. 
Um, but I've had problems in the past expressing my emotions, which is why I used to write a lot. So now I'm starting to get into expressing my emotions more and being more vulnerable, vulnerable and open with people, whether it's men, women, whatever, but especially me. I mean, I don't talk to a lot of them, but the few that I do talk to, I'm pretty vulnerable with. So I can kind of understand that whole, like, you have to be able to trust in things. That one, that one makes sense to me because you don't want to open up too soon and you don't trust that person or that person might end end up using it against you or that person might not feel the same way and you might scare that person away. Like there's a lot of different factors that goes into that. So that one I can kind of understand. Now let's get into, okay, actions speak louder than words. Can we get a cliche moment right here? Like literally, I mean, really, Okay, actions speak louder. Is that right? Sorry, y'all, I repainted my furniture. But, okay, I get actions speak louder than words, and you can prove to a woman how you feel based on your actions, but at the same time, women aren't mind readers, okay? Nobody is a mind reader, and that's what I'm trying, that's the point I'm trying to make to men when it comes to expressing their emotions to women. We aren't mind readers. So if you don't tell us how you feel, look, you know what? Just sis, listen. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you. Look, we're about to get real rich up in here. Whew, child, take them all off. Just to start a whole earring of trash. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Y'all know I don't care. Um, it's like you can't. (laughs) That that made me lose my whole train of thought. Y'all know I'll be cutting up. But it's like, okay, if you're, let's say you take a girl out on a date, buy her gifts, buy her flowers, show her affection. Like, okay, all your actions say, I like you, or I love you, or I want to be with you, or let's take this to the next level. That's fine when it comes to actions, but you have to speak first. I feel like actions should follow up words, not replace words. So it's like if you tell me you feel a certain way, then there's actions to follow that to validate those feelings, okay? But you have to express them verbally because, like I said, we're not mind readers, okay? Let's talk about the dating stage, okay? When you're dating a man, let's say, like I posed this question on Facebook. I said, okay, so what if you're dating a woman and you want to take it to the next level? How is she supposed to know? Like, are you going to tell her or is she supposed to assume based off of your actions and the vibes or just go with the flow? That whole go with the flow thing, like, we're too old for that. I really feel like we're too old for that. And it's like, you need to say something, okay? Like, if you really feel in a woman, regardless of how you think she feels, you need to tell her how you feel. Like, period. And if she responds differently, you have to take that response. But not saying nothing at all, I feel like this is kind of disrespectful. Because then you could be leading that woman on, and she's in her mind wondering, like, okay, so are we moving to the next level? Like, what is this? And I know fellas hate when women ask, so what are we doing? Like, what is this? What are we doing? Like, what are we? I know y'all don't like that. I know y'all don't. But at some point in time, we have to ask the question. Now, with me, I have a lot of male friends, and being a celibate woman, I don't really expect relationships to come out like I'm just not expecting one, so I don't do the whole where are we going, what are we doing, what is this. If I feel like it's progressing and getting to that level, then it's kind of like, okay, now we have to have a conversation, but at the end of the day, you should be having intellectual communication and conversations, period, because that's, that's what's in now. (laughs) <laughs> that was the best way I could put it, but you need to be having intellectual conversations and communications. Like, communication is key. So if you're not communicating in a relationship or in a marriage or while you're dating, then what's the point? Like, what communication, trust, and respect, those are the three keys. And if you're not communicating with somebody, how are they supposed to know what's going on in your head or what you're thinking about or how you feel? That I mean, fellas, y'all got to think about that. We can't just assume, and then if we make the wrong assumption, then we get led on, or 
we end up getting hurt because we don't know what's going on. Y'all are literally like brick walls. Like y'all just chilling or heartless or careless or, you know, and I think a lot of that comes from the past. Like I told one of my teenage boys, men didn't come into this world the way they are. Some woman fucked them over to where it made them cold hearted or close down or shut down to where they don't want to express their emotions and they don't want to be vulnerable. Men didn't come in the world like that. Something happened to them to make them that way. Some woman fucked them over to make them that way. Same thing with women. Some man fucks her over to make her the way she is. Now, it's up to you to decide if you're going to hold on to that baggage or if you're going to let it go and start fresh. I, I choose, my personal opinion is to let it go. Because if you read my book, you've seen I've been fucked over plenty of times every time. But I don't hold that against anybody. I don't even hold it against my exes. I am friends with all of my exes. Like, literally, like, Instagram, social media, Facebook friends, me and my ex or one of my exes are like best friends. One of my exes is about to get married. I'm excited. I'm happy for him. One of my other exes is about to have a baby. Like, I don't hold that against them. So I'm definitely not going to hold it against the next person. Like, it. trust me, it's too heavy on you to try to hold that in. Next, uh, women don't listen or want it a certain way. Okay, again, that depends on the type of woman that you're talking to because women will listen if you, okay, backtrack. Women listen if they feel like it's genuine, okay? So, again, that comes from somebody that this person talked to in the past that didn't listen or wanted a certain way. Women can be picky. Women can be difficult. That that fact is true. Not all women are the same, okay? <clears throat> I'm a motivator. In my other lifetime, I probably would have been a therapist, okay? I'm a mentor. I'm a motivator. I talk to kids. I'm a natural listener. So I'm going to listen regardless. But again, every woman isn't the same. But that doesn't mean that you should not say anything because you don't think that woman is going to listen or that they want to hear it a certain way. So it's all about communication and getting to know each other. That's why the getting to know each other phase is so important so that you can know all of these things going into the relationship or wherever it is that you're trying to go. Because if you ask married men, like I had a married man answer the question and he said, I didn't used to, but I had to learn to. And this man is now married. So in a marriage, especially, communication is key. Affection is key. Learn your partner's love language because words of affirmation, that is a love language. And that might be your partner's love language. So you, they might need that affirmation and that assertion and that, that confidence and that security that, okay, this person likes me or this person feeling me or this person, you know, want, wants to continue our relationship or we, wants to get married like you can't just assume that women want it a certain way how you know you ain't even tried have you i mean and if they don't if they don't respond well to it okay move on try it again like i said everybody is innocent until proven guilty so like it's not fair next one now see that now these two and I'm reading off my notes here, y'all. Men aren't given the space and opportunity. Men shouldn't express to a woman just a mentor. Okay. These two right here, I think that's men talking about expressing emotions, period. Because how how are you not given the space and opportunity to express your feelings? Just express your feelings. It doesn't matter what space you're in express them i i'm in my living room right now and i get on facebook live or i share a video expressing my feelings all the time or go speak there's therapists out there there's counselors like you have options don't don't say there's no space and opportunity it's there and if it's not there create it if there's something that you want to have or want to be seen and it's not out there create it 
If you feel like as a man, there's no space and opportunity for you to express your feelings, create one. Okay? Like Social Complex Podcast or any other podcast or or platforms or anything that's out there. You have more. We are in the day and age to where we have technology. We have so many ways that we can express our feelings, express our um, how, you know, space and opportunities to express how we feel regardless, whether it's about women, whether it's about life, whether it's about business, whether it's about, it doesn't matter. You have space and opportunity. You just not taking the opportunity of the space that you have. Okay. P- quote me on that. That's a no. It's a no. I'm not taking that. I, that's just a bullshit excuse to me because you have, can't nobody stop you. Can't, can't nobody stop you. You can make opportunities. You can make the space. You can make the platform. Because I've done it. And I've seen a lot of other people do it. So that's not an excuse. Sorry, sir. Try again. Men shouldn't express to a woman just a mentor. So are you going to be dating your mentor? Or because I have teens that are in relationships or, you know, experiencing their relationship stage. And they talk to me, but they also talk to each other. And I also tell them. They need to communicate with each other because, yeah, you can tell me I can give you advice. But what is that going to do with b- between the both of y'all? What is what is that going to do? What is that going to do? OK, yes, you can have a mentor, but mentors aren't for you to express how you feel about a woman. Like you need to express to that woman how you feel. Now, your mentor can help you about the approach, how you should do it. They can give you their opinion on it and their advice. But. Just blatantly saying men shouldn't, and this is quoted. I promise y'all, somebody said this. Men shouldn't express to a woman just a mentor. No, sir. No, sir. I can't. What do you mean? You're degrading women. What are you saying? That we're not capable enough to to experience your feelings and to understand and to listen to your feelings so you have to talk to your mentor? Which, let's just assume your mentor is a man. Okay? So what is that? What, what, so let's say I'm talking to a guy named Derek, okay? And Derek tells his mentor, Sam, how he feels about me and expresses his emotions to Sam about me instead of expressing them to me because Sam is his mentor. Okay, so how does it get back to me, though? So is Sam going to tell me or, you know, how am I supposed to know? Because Sam's response as a mentor coming from a mentor should be, look, bro, look, Derek, you need to tell this girl how you feel. You need to tell Miranda how you feel. Because, yes, you can tell it to me. You can do a practice run. We can talk about it as mentor to mentee. But ultimately, you're going to have to express your emotions to the woman. Now, if we're talking about business or something like that, like something that your mentor is guiding you on, okay, by all means, that's fine. But we're talking about relationships. We're talking about dating and we're talking about marriage and we're talking about communication within those things. So bullshit. I call bullshit. That was stupid. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. That was not a valid excuse. Okay. I can deal with pride and ego. I can deal with the fact that you might get called out on social media. I can deal with the, with the little actions speak louder than words cliche i can deal with because they don't trust them yet like a lot of these make perfect sense but those two no and yes men are raised to be protectors i'm not really for the whole women don't listen or wanted a certain way thing either because like i said it depends on the woman and this ultimately boils down to again like i said something that happened to a man in the past that's causing him to react this way in the present and ho- hopefully not in the future, but maybe in the future. Okay. Because I take it personal because I'm a, I'm a good woman. Like I'm a shit. First of all, let me tell you something. I'm a great woman. You know, no fa- earrings falling off and edges is terrible. Eyebrows is weak. All that. I'm still a good woman. And I hate that there are women out here that are ruining men for good women like me and vice versa vice versa there are bullshit men out here that are ruining good women and that makes them women also weren't weren't born into this world 
fucked up and, and mean and crazy and all this other stuff y'all want to label us and thoughts and all that. No. She got hurt along the way, which changed her perspective on relationships, changed her perspective on men. And have you ever thought that a lot, there are a lot of fatherless daughters out here? I'm one of those. So I had to deal with not having a father to even show me what a proper, healthy relationship was supposed to look like. Y'all don't take all that into consideration. That's why before you start dating somebody or right when you're dating somebody, you need to learn where they came from. You need to learn about their past because a lot of men or a lot of women like, nah, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't want to hear it. That's, That's past. That's old. We're talking about right now. No, I recommend that you know everything about the person you're dating's past. Because even though it happened in the past, it could still be something they're dealing with now. And it helps you understand why they they are the way that they are now. Because of where they came from. Especially with people like me who come from a troubled background. So in order for you to understand me now, you have to know what I've been through. Like... Whether you want to know it or not, it's, it's, trust me, you're good. It makes sense. It all makes sense because we steady grow on our experiences. So if you don't know my experience, you don't know why I am the way I am now. You don't understand why I do the things that I do. So it's important that you communicate and ask that person about their past. It's important whether you're a man or a woman to express yourself, express your emotions and communicate, period. Period. There's no, no, we throwing ego out the door. Leave your pride in the car. That's what my pastor always say. Leave your pride in the car and your ego at the the door. Like, there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable. And society tells us men aren't supposed to be vulnerable. Even women. We're often told sometimes women aren't supposed to be vulnerable. That's bullshit. Like, y'all stop falling for these, don't do that. Stop falling for the bullshit. Like, seriously. We got to do better because it's a, it's it's important. And if you want to find love, now if you don't want to find love and you don't want to be in a relationship and you just don't give a shit and you stubborn and stuck in your ways, this video ain't for you. But for those of us who eventually want to meet the right person and the person that God has put in in your life or written to be placed in your life, then you need to heed the warning. You need to seek wise counsel and listen to what I'm saying. Because if you're not communicating and expressing yourself at the right time when you feel it's the right moment, you're going to miss out on something good. You're going to miss out because you're still holding on to bags from 10 years ago that's towed up and, and, and just ripped up. And you need to let them bags go. Somebody somebody play bag lady with, with Erica Badu. Because y'all, you're going to miss your bus dragging all them bags like that. Like straight up no chaser because it's not healthy for men or women. Innocent until proven guilty. Start off clean slate. Don't don't let men or women suffer for something somebody else did to you. That's not fair. So, you know, that's that's basically what my video is about. I did this poll. I was very, you know, interested in a lot of the answers that I got. And I understand some of them. You know, I don't I don't knock men for their answers. I even, you know, gave a little feedback, but I did tell each one of them, I understand. I understand how you feel. That's your personal opinion. You are entitled to your opinion. I asked you a question and you gave me an answer. This is just what my rebuttal is for the answers that I got. Okay. And that goes, it's, this video is mainly for my fellas, but that goes for women too. Like express your emotions, y'all, for real. Cause if you don't communicate with your significant other or whoever you're dating or whoever you're married to, that could be real detrimental. It could be really detrimental. And we need to grow up and say what's on our mind and just express it, period. I mean, I can't make it any more plain than that. So if you have any questions, if you have anything you want to add, if you have an opinion you want to add, you what you know, as long as you keep it respectful, because don't don't disrespect me. Don't do that because I'm a, I'm a say savage. But if you have anything else you want to add to this, then that's fine. I'm going to kind of, I think, keep this theme of love, sex, and relationships going um, because I'm going to tie it into some other things as far as, like, mental health and go into um, abuse and things like that because you know I got to talk about abuse. Y'all know I have to talk about abuse. Um, 
So I'm going to keep this thing. I think I'm going to go into it with July as well. And also, again, I apologize for the late video. Sis got busy. Sis got a lot going on. Okay? So make sure you follow the Trouble Movement on social media. Make sure you follow me on social media. My information is below. And my, I'm not going to give y'all any actual homework, but I just want you to think about what I said. Like, just, just think about what I said. Really, like, just really thinking about it. Like, does she, is she really saying something that makes sense? Like, just dwell on it and just at least try to understand what I'm trying to say or where I'm coming from, especially as a woman, okay, and especially as a good woman, and especially as a woman who's been single for five years and, you know, is currently in that whole dating phase stage. Okay, yeah, we're not going to get into that. I just want to throw that in there like that. Y'all know I always got to throw in my little... A little piece. So episode eight will come out. I'm not gonna even give y'all a date. I'm not gonna even give y'all a date. I'm gonna just start dropping videos. I'm gonna just start dropping videos. Like they just gonna start coming. Now what I do want to do is make every video come out on Wednesday. Because as you know, I had my videos coming out. Um it was alternating every week, but I've decided that I want my videos to come out on Wednesday, hump day in the middle of the week type situation so middle of the week motivation middle of the week midweek motivation oh i like that i like that i'm good i like that that's what i'm gonna do wednesdays that's what it is so episode eight check me out on wednesday this coming wednesday if you have anything you want me to discuss if you have any questions comments or concerns please drop them in the comments below also make sure you subscribe to my channel so that we can keep this going I'm going to keep motivating. I'm going to keep giving out good content. Just we got to we got to create a conversation like I can only do motivation videos based on what you need to be motivated. With. So please let me know. Email me. DM me. Whatever you have to do to reach me. Y'all know how my, I keep my information below. Make sure again to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in to Episode 7, Expressing Emotions in Communication, and this is Motivation with Me.